Hello everyone and welcome to the first of either many or not many at all. We all know how I am with live stream series. Um, but this is basically a series about trying to oops, I left it on the uh, on the key configuration screen. This is basically a series about me going through my massive backlog of Steam games. Last time I checked, I had around 950 Yep, <laughs> Steam games. I bought a lot of bundles. Let me just throw that out there right now. I'm not rich. I didn't waste a bunch of money that I didn't have. I just bought a lot of bundles, and therefore I have a lot of games that I don't particularly know much about or care much about, but I have them anyway, and this series is going to focus on checking them out and trying to get my money's worth out of them. Um, <laughs> this is Bollex, uh, and uh, we'll talk more about this game in a second, but before we do, the first thing I want to say is uh, Streamlabs updated, and I think it changed some of my streaming settings because a week or two ago when I streamed RuneScape, uh, I didn't really like how it looked, and I went and looked at my settings and I realised it's because a bunch of stuff had changed, so I've put them back to what I think they were, um, hopefully it looks okay. If it doesn't, I apologise, I have no way of like checking as we go along. <laughs> So that's an issue. I mean, I can probably look at it on my phone just to make sure it doesn't look absolutely awful, but I don't see why it would. Um, so there might be some technical difficulties to stream. Also, speaking of difficulties, I have a block nose, uh, which I just realised makes it really difficult to commentate when I'm streaming. Um, so hang on a minute, I'm going to do a big sniff. Let me mute myself so you don't have to listen to that. Gross! Okay, we're back. Um, so yeah, this is the screen that the game started me on, Ballex. Ballex is a spiritual successor to a game called Ballance. You might be thinking, Christian, what the fuck is Ballance? You probably knew it as Balance, because I knew it as Balance. It was a game, it was like a game in the 2000s, and um, it was a PC game, and it was just a little puzzle physics game about rolling a ball around and trying to get to the end, and me and my family played it. I think it only had about 12 levels, but we loved it. Um, I'm not sure we ever managed to finish it, because it got really difficult towards the end. Um, the basic idea of the game was you had three states, wooden, paper, and stone, and they all had different things they could do, like stone could push blocks, uh, paper could float upwards, uh, wooden, I forget, it was just kind of a balance between the two. Um, and it was really fun, I really enjoyed it. Uh, but you can't play it these days. I don't know if it's on good old games, I can't remember if it is or not, but I don't own it basically. Um, and um, We probably have a physical disc somewhere around my house, but my my, P my PC has a really bad disc tray, um, disc drive, I don't think it can... I mean, let's just say the only time I've ever tried to put a disc in, it started making these really scary grinding noises, and I've never done it again. So, <laughs> um, digital only on this, on this uh, PC right here, because... Uh, we live in 2021 and it's not an issue. But yeah, this is uh, Ballance, uh, not Ballance, this is Ballex, which is like a spiritual successor. I don't know if it has similar devs or not. Ballance actually got a sequel um, called Ballance something or other, but apparently it's not very good. Um, so I'm playing this one instead. I bought this one probably around half a year ago to a year ago. I should probably dive into it now. Um, and people are saying this is like the true sequel, so yeah. Yeah, right away, this feels like how I remember Ballance feeling. Uh, yep, yeah, I remember this. I re yep, yeah, this is... The only thing I don't like is the... I don't know if Ballance was like this. Um, but the only thing I don't like is... Uh, the, the field of view feels a bit closed in. You can do this, I guess. And I think you can do this in the original game, too. But just like this, it's kind of closed in and hard to see. Well done, go ahead. Do I want to go ahead or do I want to go to the right? Oh. I want to go to the right, the game lied to me. So yeah, I have loads of Steam games which look fun, uh, but I've just never played. I'm trying to pass here neatly, okay, I'll try and do that. Red bonus earns you a higher score. Oh yeah! The original game had those, those little things you would collect and then they would they would turn into these tiny little balls and chase after you. Blue bonus means an extra life. I don't remember anything about extra lives. Also, I don't remember the stuff in the top left with durability. Uh, recovers the durability of your ball. It decreases with collisions and mechanical functions. That's new. You'll die when the durability is down to zero. I don't think that was in ballance. Oh. 
Once you're stuck like this, press escape and click suicide. <laughs> oh my god, that's dark. Uh, I get the feeling this might not be like a native English game mode, so I doubt the connotations are meant to be quite that dark. Different kinds of ball have different kinds of physical properties. A wooden ball can push away barriers and float on water. How lovely. Yeah, because I guess the paper ball would probably just get soggy and drown. Good to know. And then, yeah, this feels all, this all feels very familiar. This one has like a level editor and Steam Workshop attached to it too, so this is cool. I don't know if it's on <coughs> any other platforms. I don't know if it has controller support. I wanted to play it, um... Is that like a collectible down there? Yes, it is. Oh, it's a key. Okay. Um, then pass through the damper. What's the damper? Anyway, um, what was I saying? I've completely forgotten what I was saying. That's going to happen a lot. Anyone who hasn't watched me before, that happens a lot. <laughs> oh no, I'm too fat. Feels bad, man. A light paper wall can't disturb most barriers, but it can be blown by a fan. That. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, bad joke, sorry. Congrats, you have a basic knowledge of ball legs. Um, I think I was talking about how I was playing PC controls, because yeah, obviously that's how we played it back in the day, you didn't have a controller to connect to the PC or anything. Back in the day, controllers used to have, um, what's the word? What you call it? Uh, when hardware only has a connection that's adaptable to the single thing it's made for. Propri proprietary hardware. It had proprietary stuff to it, so um, you could only connect a PS2 controller to a PS2 because it had that big fat connectable thing. Um, so you can put it in a PC. But I don't know if this has controller support, but again, I just bought... Oh, that's interesting. On Steam it says it was 1.1, so I guess they haven't updated their Steam page in a while. Alright, let's do this. Was that more balls? So let's see, we got ice, we got like, what, another version of a rock, and we've got like Mars. Interesting. But yeah, basically, balance, uh, even though it's like a physics puzzle game, it has me looking out for just any kind of ball platforming game. Um, and um, one really good one that came out a year or two ago is called Marble It Up. And it's made by the people who made Marble Blast, which I only ever played the instant action web version of, but I absolutely loved it. Um, and uh, Marble It Up is a pretty cool game. If I had it on Steam, we would probably be doing it on this series. Although, I don't know, I have played a fair amount of Marble It Up. This series is supposed to mostly be focused on um, games I either haven't played before or I've only played a little bit of. How are we going to do this? But, um,. I've I've tried series I've tried live streaming series before which are all about I just killed my brother <laughs> which are all about um there we go like sticking with a game until the end like oh I I think I called it attention span training and uh, that predictably failed quite dramatically and I think what I need to start doing is accepting that I have a really bad attention span and um, as a person. Um, that's fine. I should, like, play to that as a strength instead of trying to be someone I'm not. Because otherwise I'll just get frustrated. Oh, I thought I was going to turn into a paper ball. These paper balls here, they really threw me off. I like how they're not quite, like, perfectly round either, because they're made out of paper. That's a nice touch. Um, but yeah. I feel like if I, instead of, like, getting frustrated about the fact that I can't focus on a single game, Making a series about trying out loads of different games that I have uh, is probably going to be the way to go. Because this way, if I'm really enjoying this game, um, and I finish the stream, and it's not going to be a long one today, the music's getting a bit loud, hang on. It is nice music though, i got to say. Um, but yeah, if, I, if I'm really enjoying this... Um, I might end the stream by saying like, oh, we'll probably play more of this next time. But then if I get distracted by something else, that's fine. I can continue the series. I don't have to then be like, oh, I just, I'll, I guess I'll just come back to it when I oops, want to play it. Uh, and then the series just never happens again, because that's what happened with attention span training. And that's where the World of Warcraft uh, 
stuff went and I do want to get back to that but um, the the you know where I was going to play through every single expansion through the new time walking leveling system oh boy that was almost bad wait what am I doing here oh uh, okay I didn't oh no F F's in chat this is the first F of the series um so yeah just know that going into this like even if I'm really enjoying a game, there's a high chance that the next stream I do in this series is going to be a completely different game, through no fault of this game, uh, just because that's the way my brain works. You know, no biggie. Right, I feel like I should change back to wood here, purely because I can, and I feel like they wouldn't have put that option there if it wasn't important, like now that I've done all the pushing I need to do. Why would I? That's just like a reset to go back, I guess. Fair enough. Smack! There we go. We good. Yeah, like the original balance, by the way, had all of this. It had like the the three different types of ball. It had like the the rails that you would go down. Um, but yeah, as I was saying earlier about Marble It Up and Marble Blast, there was a website called Instant Action. Get out of here. Um, and um, it, it was a really interesting website. Instead of being like any other like flash game website where you had hundreds and hundreds of games, this one focused on having like five or six really high quality multiplayer games. And it had like site wide chat integration and stuff like that. And one of those was a multiplayer version of a game called Marble Blast, which was, I believe, an Xbox 360 Live arcade game. Uh, oh, I should go and see if it's backwards compatible. Probably not. I did fish through every backwards compat title a while back. I didn't see it, but yeah, and you never know. I might have missed it. Anyway, this version of the game was like purely multiplayer, and it was about um, it was about um, what am I saying? It was about like collecting gems or whatever people could, and like blasting them off the edge with power ups and stuff. And it was really fun. How am I? Okay, I don't understand. I'm supposed to... maybe I just need a better runner. Let's go! Nope. Huh. How do I do this then? Do I need to like somehow avoid turning into a rock in the middle there? Can I like... Can I like kind of go around it? Nope. Huh. I didn't consider the problem that <laughs> I might get stuck on level one of a puzzle game, but it's going to be really embarrassing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, so I just like ball rolling games in general, I guess. Like Marble It Up uh, is really fun. Recommend it. And um, I think I downloaded like a PC emulated port version of Marble Blast at some point, like the original arcade title, and played through some of that, and it was fun. Um, probably not entirely above board, but you know. I had no way of other way of experiencing the game. I, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna be honest. What am I? That's the problem as well. Like, I watch a lot of Game Grumps, and everyone gives Aaron shit all the time for like not being able to figure out simple puzzles. It's because when you're doing commentary at the same time, you lose like a portion of your brain that would be going towards solving this. Can you jump? There's no jump. There's just rotate and. Super Monkey Ball, by the way, is another thing I really want to play one day. No, there's no way of doing this. Huh. Is there anything down here, like a button to press? No. Maybe if I... Is that dip not going to give me enough of, like, a... No, because... I'll turn wooden by going back this way as well. Oh no, I can't be stuck on level one. I can't be stuck on level one, that's bad. There's no way. How? How? How though? How though? Uh, I didn't miss like an alternate route or anything like that. Oh. Is it something to do with these balls here? 
because this turns me wooden as well. Am I supposed to like push them ahead? I don't think I can. I don't think that's what it's trying to get me to do. It's just reminding me that wooden balls can float. But I don't know why that's important. I feel sorry for anyone who's watching this vlog and has already figured it out. <laughs> Ack! Where do you go? How do you go where? And this is like a not very well known game as well, so it's not like there's going to be walkthroughs or anything. Uh, I literally can't think of any other way to... I'm going to feel like such an idiot, but... There's, there's nothing, there's no way. Again, there's no like alternate route. No, this is the checkpoint. Oh, now I'm just stuck. <laughs> Good job, idiot. Uh, how do I reset again? That's the one. Wait. Oh no, they've got a thing that tells me wouldn't. It's fine. Oh, the boxes! I pushed the boxes off the edge, so I forgot they existed. <gasps> oh, I'm such an idiot! You just take the fucking boxes over, don't you? And then you use them to cross over the gap. It's not a jump at all. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> yeah. No. That's, the, that's the problem with playing a puzzle game. Um, by the way, I need to think up a name for this series because at the minute I just have it called a very generic thing. Uh, like, I forget what I even called it, just like Steam Backlog Game Series. And, by the way, this isn't even going to be limited to just Steam. Like, I can stream from my PS4. It's not going to be as good quality. I say as good quality, I don't know if this is even any good quality. I forgot to check. Uh, but, I, uh... Come on, you can do it. You can move the box. It's not very difficult. Um, I need to f figure out a name for this series. Um, and given that I'm basically ripping off Steam Train, except it's a solo live stream thing, it needs to be something unique. Because <laughs> God knows the concept behind the series is, oh, I missed them. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Did that just happen? Tell me I don't have to move the boxes again. I really like the music in this game. It's just like this little acoustic thing in the background. I like it a lot. It, it's um, the original Balance. I haven't played it in absolutely years. Oh, I do have to move the boxes again. God damn it. I haven't played the original Balance in years and years and years. Um, but I remember it had like this kind of zen kind of a soundtrack to it. So it's good that they, they're emulating that as well. Alright, I'm sure it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I just need to be able to get over it. Um, I'm going to be annoying and stop doing gameplay for a second because I do just want to make sure that the stream looks okay. I should have done this at the beginning. Um, but I forgot to. So, uh, my channel. And turn the sound down so you don't hear me twice. Oh, it looks okay, at least in the still image preview. Wait, apparently you're just seeing a black screen. What's happening here? Oh, this isn't good. How long have you been looking at a black screen for? Is that true? Hang on, let me bring up Twitch on my fucking web browser, make sure. Make sure that's not what's happening right now. Because it showed up for a second. In like the image preview. A decent chunk of... What's happening? Streaming. 
broadcasting. No, how do I get to my fucking channel? There it is. No, apparently you can see me just fine. I guess... Oh, it's working on my phone now. I don't know what I was about. I guess that was just my phone having an issue, I hope. Hopefully that was just my phone having an issue. I'm just going to keep my stream live on my phone in front of me, actually. That's what I should have done from the very beginning. If you were unable to see images on the stream for a minute there, I apologise. But I think it was probably just my phone fucking up. Okay. One day I'm going to get a second monitor, and this is all going to be a whole lot easier. Okay, even going full speed doesn't get me the red thing there, so I assume I have to drop back down for that. I remember sometimes on these you could go too fast and go careening off of it. Oh, I wonder how you get that red thing. Oh well. Is there an achievement tied to it, I wonder? Uh, I don't know if you can see my Steam overlay or not. There's an achievement for suiciding a thousand times. Why? Why Why would you put that in? That's such a ball ache to do. Okay, I don't think you can see my... Accumulate crystals to 23,333. So I... I mean... I think part of this series is going to be accepting the fact that I'm not going for 100% completion, so don't just stop and try and get every collectible you see. That's something uh, I was doing Crash Bandicoot for, and uh, it was killing the game for me. <laughs> and then uh, as soon as I stopped caring about that shit, I enjoyed the game way more. Although, um, I still haven't finished it. I'm still on like World 2 or whatever. But I mean, I give myself shit for that a lot, but that's actually true to my experience of how I played games as a kid. Like, I don't think I ever got off the first island in Crash Bandicoot 1. It wasn't until I played the uh, remastered trilogy that I actually finished the game, you know? And I never gave myself shit for it back then. <laughs> no! Stay away! I don't want you! Ah! <laughs> I always did that as a kid as well. Um, yeah, I never used to care about complete games as a kid. I was just playing them and they were fun, and I think that's the mindset I need to get back into. Uh, there's, there's levels? There's XP levels? That's kind of an interesting... Kind of an interesting thing to put in this game. Alright, let's go. This game captures the spirit of the original so well. The devs should be really pleased for themselves, because... It's so good. Alright, I guess I've got to turn stone up here. Oh, no, wrong way! <laughs> I gotta say, the stream looks pretty good on my phone at least. Oh, did I close Chrome in the background? Hang on. I did, but I forgot to close something else. Okay, good. We're good, we're good. This is a professional stream. Uh, before I go that way, I think the thing I was going to get down here was a bonus of some sort. Bam! Let me through. What's over here? What is over here? Oh, this is just a completely different route, huh? Maybe it loops back. I wonder if I can, like, miss collecting those by going too fast. I, did I mention on stream yet? I actually... Oh god, what am I supposed to do here? Did I fuck up? Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go the other way first and then that knocks this down. That's upsetting. Um, I don't know if I mentioned on the stream earlier or not. The reason I wanted to play this is because I dreamed about Balance last night, or Balance, you know, the original game that this is kind of a successor to. I dreamed about it. <laughs> I woke up, I was like, man, I really want to fucking play this game now because I fucking dreamed about it. Like, I don't know what triggered that dream, why it was in the back of my mind. Yeah, this is, this is what we were supposed to do first. They go down there, I don't. Okay, good. Um, the music in this level reminds me of a very specific Jack and Daxter soundtrack, uh, but I digress. I dreamed about the game, and I was like, huh, I wonder why I'm dreaming about the game. Um, and then I remembered that, like, it might have been like a year ago I got this game, 
because I looked up to see if I could, uh, if Balance was on Steam. I was like, it's not going to be on Steam. Uh, and then I discovered that um, the official sequel was, and the spiritual sequel was, and obviously, like I mentioned earlier, this is a spiritual sequel and it's got better reviews. Uh, so that's why I'm doing this one. And it's like two quid. This game is like two quid, like full price, uh, which is amazing. Um, so it really is like a labor of love, I guess. So, uh, I remembered I owned that after my dream. Alright, let's try wooden for a bit. And I was like, well, yeah, I guess I should probably play that. Oh, shit. That's gonna bite me in the ass in a minute, isn't it? Oh, no, because I needed to be wooden to get across the bridge. Okay, good. And I can't go up there. I mean, you know the game is a good spiritual successor when it's giving me nostalgia for the original. It's really tempting to push those barrels off the side, but I won't get the bonus point if I do. Alright. Uh, let's just make sure I'm not missing any... See any bonus things, that is. Ooh. Oh, wait, I'm gonna need these boxes. I always forget the boxes actually serve a purpose instead of just being there. Other ball games I have uh, tried since Balance, um, but which fit. Oh, you have to be careful as well if you push them into a corner, you gotta reset. Um, but yeah, other games I've tried uh, which didn't quite um, sate my, my first for ball related platforming physics puzzle games, uh, <laughs> I guess. Um, there's, there's a few of them on Steam. Um, I like how I opened up, like I was going to tell you what they were, but I don't remember any of their names. But there's a few of them. They never quite captured it, though. This, this does. So far, this captures it perfectly. Um, come on, you can make it. Yeah. It's a very small niche, I guess, in gaming. Oh, good, I need to be paper for the lift. But it's a, it's, it's a good one, nonetheless. I'm pretty pleased with how the stream's looking, i got to say. I, so... I'm, I know a lot about making videos. I do not know a lot about setting up a live stream. That that stuff all happened long after I cared about knowing stuff about technology. That was a different era of my life. That was like when I was a teenager. I cared about all that shit. Um, so like I'm not like useless nowadays with tech, um, but I'm de I definitely know less than I used to. And by the way, don't go thinking I forgot about that box. I remembered the box. Oh, there was nothing there. That was just a pointless box, I guess. Um, so yeah. Um, I... When I started streaming for the first time... Oh shit, I think I fucked up. No, nope, we're good. I, uh... I think I was asking for help on Twitter, and a friend messaged me, walked me through how to set up my stream. I literally went back to my DMs and reread that advice in order to get this stream set up because all of my options had defaulted, I think. So uh, that's probably why it looks so good. Thank you, Nebri, for that from like two or three years ago. I doubt you're watching, but if you are, hi. Hope you're doing good. Also, I know it says 60 in the corner. You may notice I stream at 30. Um, I don't have like a wired connection um, or anything like that. There's a. I'm kind of like very restricted when it comes to streaming. Which is funny because back in the day I used to be very restricted when it came to making videos. I feel like I don't want to be wooden. Do I want to be wooden? I feel. Okay, it'd probably be easier if I was, to be fair. Yeah, I can stop mid, mid rolling. But I can't if I'm made out of stone. Ooh, too fat! Okay, good. This shit is what makes me lose my train of thought. <laughs> what is this? This is like a ball of light. God, you're so bright. Get out of here. I can barely fucking see. Jeez. <laughs> anyway. Um... Oh, I need to be stone after all. I'm really enjoying this so far. Um... And I've absolutely forgotten what I was saying. Thanks for asking. 
Oh my god. I've got to go all the way back up here, I guess. And then avoid going down there. There we go. Right. Get that shit out of here. And now I can do this. Smash. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. So, um... My, like, biggest goal uh, as I was, um... Aging up through the teenage years and then becoming an adult and get, being able to like earn money and put it towards stuff. My biggest goal was to be able to reliably make videos, and now I can do that. Um, although even then, I'm still relying on Shadow Play. I would like to have a capture card, but I can afford one. But like, I can't afford one if you know what I mean. Um, but I can't really justify one. Um, so I would still like a capture card in terms of video recording, but when it came to live streaming, like that was never something I set my sights on. This has only ever been like a, I guess I'll stream for a bit of fun. Like I mean, I I make videos for fun as well, but you know what I mean. Like I, I have a standard I want my videos to be at. Live streaming is a little bit more freeform. Shit. Um and I don't know, like because I I didn't bother learning more about how to set up streaming and. Uh, because I haven't sunk like time and effort into streaming as much as I have videos, there's a lot of stuff I'm missing, like a actual nice, uh, like a oh shit, I forgot about the fans. That was in the original game too. Um, I I don't have like a wired connection, for instance. Um, I don't have Wi-Fi that's even tailored for streaming. Uh, that's why this is 720p, 30 frames a second. Um, it looks fine. It's passable. <laughs> that was meant to be like P-A-R-S, but I guess P-A-S-S -S works too. Um, and that's enough for me at the minute. I would love to be able to do more, but streaming is kind of exhausting. I find it hard to stream for more than two hours. Um, oh god! But maybe that's just because I haven't found my niche yet. Maybe this is my niche, like variety streaming, in that I'm just going through my Steam library. Um, but you know, maybe I'll stream more after this. But I definitely like anyone who follows me knows I go like months without streaming, and then there've been times when I've streamed like ten days in a row. So I just realised you have a limited amount of lives. I should probably be paying slightly more attention, <laughs> or else I have to do the entire level over again. Oh no, that's probably what it. No, because you respawn at a checkpoint. You probably do have to do the entire level over again if you run out of lives. That's kind of that's gonna be annoying in later levels. All right, let's let's be a little more careful with this. But yeah, I've got so many cool little games like this that I'm excited to stream. Like, it's not like an idea that I feel like I had to have. Like, it's always been an option. But I guess this is the first time I've given it any decent amount of thought and gone, oh shit, yeah, actually, I really do want to stream like this. God, I don't like all these branching paths. It's hard to keep track of, especially when I'm doing commentary. But yeah, I find streaming fucking exhausting after, like, two hours. I don't know how people do it all day. Like, anyone who says streaming is just, like, like, you're just playing video games. Oh, fuck. Oh, I see what you did to me there, game. I was supposed to push them down and then follow. Um, I guess we got a suicide. Um, yeah, anyone anyone who thinks that streaming is like super easy way to make money, like you're not even working, you're just playing games and getting money and stuff. Obviously, I'm not because I don't have like an audience or anything. I'm doing this for fun. I don't really want to put myself out there because I can't be asked to deal with the toxicity that can. Uh, Ghana, that's a whole different conversation. Um, but it's not easy money, basically, is what I'm saying. For the people who do this full time, like, you are putting on a show because otherwise people aren't going to watch you. Like, if you're just chilling out playing games, even ga even streams that say, like, oh yeah, chilling and playing a game. Uh, like, oh yeah, let's do Pokemon and chill. It's not the same. The second you are on screen, there is, like, this mental, like, difference and I've done it before where I've tried to just be like oh I'm just gonna stream and I'm not even gonna try and like commentate or anything like that you can't do it, it it's different it's fundamentally different and it's tiring 
Um, and I don't know how people can do it for like upwards of six hours a day, every day in a week. It's impressive. And they absolutely deserve um, whatever money they get out of it. Oh, okay, so I guess the red orb things. They stay between lives, so that's good to know. Also, I guess I got an extra life at some point, because I have five now and I had four earlier. God, this is such a chill game mode. Oh no! Oh, that's probably fine. Just gotta gain a bit of speed. Okay, we're good. Um, do I want to go back? I know that's back to where we were. I don't think I do. I mean, I can turn back into stone, so stakes are pretty low. Uh, but I can't get through here, so was there something back here that I missed? Like a fan or something? I don't think there was. There wasn't. What am I missing? I'm doing something wrong. Maybe this is just a red herring and you're not supposed to turn paper at all. I don't know. I don't know, Jeff. Oh, fuck. Oh, I see. It's like an obstacle that you're meant to avoid. Oh, I should never have come this way. Okay, we're good. Dick move. Okay. Oh, ooh, I want to be wood. That was close. Almost, almost missed that. Ah, oh, I'm so glad this game exists. It's such a good successor. This is exactly what I needed to play right now. And I want to make this clear. Like, I don't know how often these streams are going to be. I, uh, I'm always trying to make sure I'm not like wasting my Xbox Game Pass subscription. So like, there's a ton of games to play there, but I can't really stream reliably from Xbox because it's sh content creating in general from Xbox is shit. It's like their one weakness, um, which is a big bummer. They don't seem to care about it. Um, how do I turn to paper and get back there, though? Wait. Yeah, it was a fan, right? It's a fan over here? I've already forgotten. Yeah, it was. Okay. And wood definitely can't lift. No. Huh. A little bit stumped now. Oh no, my score is going down. I've only just noticed. It's like, you're yeah, taking too long. Uh, how do I turn to paper and get all the way here? So I've got to be paper around the time I'm crossing the bridge. But there's no way to get through. Oh, I see. I bust it open and it stays open. Okay, I know what's up. I know what to do now. Um, yeah. Okay, that was almost bad. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how often these streams are going to be, and I'm trying to balance it with Xbox Game Pass, which I can't stream from. Uh, if anyone's interested, I do a blog. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was almost bad. I do a blog at critigree.wordpress.com every month where I uh, write about the Game Pass games I've played that month. Um, I'm due to write another one soon. I'll be writing about Octopath Traveler and Outriders and stuff like that. Um... So that's where I'll do my Xbox related content. I've had to like kind of change how I approach some gaming related content because of obviously limitations on the Xbox and it's another reason why I want a capture card. Um, but I'm really enjoying those blog posts. Um, but this I guess is going to be like the live stream equivalent of that where I'm just going through my Steam backlog every so often. I do have a week off coming up soon so I... oh fuck me. Okay, wood. Then push it over, then go back down, then turn back to paper. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't tend to play many PC games like this anymore. There was an era of my life where all I would play was these cheap Steam games, and it was a lot of fun. Um, but nowadays, now I've got my Xbox and Game Pass and stuff, I'm, there's a lot of AAA titles I missed out on because I didn't have a good PC, so I couldn't run them, so I never bought them. Um, but ever since I got a PS4, and then uh, a little bit later, 
bought my Xbox, uh, like a couple of years later, I think it was. I've been giving uh, AAA games more of a try, so um, so these kinds of games have kind of fallen to the wayside for me. But I'm playing this right now. I'm like, I forgot how fun it is. <laughs> like, I should play more of my Steam backlog, and that's another good reason to do this series. So who knows how many of these I'll do? Maybe this will be like another one of those series where I talk it up for ages and then I do like two and never touch it again. But again, due to the nature of this series, it's not like it's not like the things that draw me away from continuing live streaming series is gonna happen here. I'm not like I'm not settling down to complete this game, you know. We could, if I really enjoy it, and I'm really enjoying it so far, we could, but if I get stuck, I'm probably just going to move on to a different game. I want to emulate the way that I actually play games, and that's not sitting down and completing a game and then starting a new one. It's hopping between different games. Like, I play a couple of games every week, it feels like. So, last couple of days all I've been playing is No Man's Sky and Outriders, but before that I played RuneScape for about three weeks straight, and I've still been playing RuneScape off and on. Um, okay, that feels a bit weird, but sure. Um, but not as much as I was. What is this? This is new. Oh, it's a bouncy ball. Oh, neat. Whee! Oh boy. I'm gonna die because I don't know how these handle. This is a nice idea. Just throw a new type of ball at you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bouncy. Oh, interesting. There was a little bit of red around the edge of the screen because I was taking damage of my durability. I guess the idea is not to stop. Oh, I don't know. What if I do this instead? There we go. There we go. Game fun. Game good. <laughs> Level up! What, what do I even get for leveling up? I get crystals? What's the... Can I, like, spend it on skins and stuff? I know board games love skins. Is it Marketplace? No, this is just maps that people have made. I guess this has a big, like, Chinese community. That's cool. Is there no, like... What am I getting these crystals for then? What am I spending them on? Nothing? Oh, do I have to, like, spend it on chapter 2 or something? I don't know. I don't know. Gold medal. Oh, it's just telling me I completed it. Is this, like, the difficulty level, or... How well I completed it? I think it's the difficulty level. Okay. There's a decent amount to this game. Hang on, so that's what? Six levels... Per chapter. And there's... Oh, I can click and drag? I wonder if this is a mobile game as well. Chapter 3. Custom levels racing. Oh, these like level packs that the community made? That's neat. Oh, that's really cool. <gasps> we go to space! Comprehensive. For two quid? This is a damn good game. Highly recommend. What's this? What's this mean? Ghosts? Are there like speedrun versions? Continue on. It's funny to think that the original balance game could probably have been completed in like one sitting in a few hours because there were only 12 levels. But me and my family kept coming back to it and we played it a lot. I like shit like that. Like, for the value that we often associate with games of like playtime is, is kind of wrong in a way. And this, this music in the background is making this like an emotional speech. <laughs> it's wrong! Um, it's really more about the experience than the amount of time you spend in it. Like, I realised that, I mean I already knew it, but like I was reminded of that, I guess I should say. Um, when I played a game on Xbox Game Pass called um, Donut County, um, which is this amazing little game. Um, it's like two hours long, uh, but it's about, um, it's got these different levels, 
and you play as a whole and your job is to it's a little bit like um katamari damacy in a kind of an inverse way uh your goal is to suck up things into your hole and then you get bigger as you eat stuff and then you eventually you kind of like gobble up the entire level but the thing is like very simplistic and it's not exactly like the the best gameplay in the world oh these things um but the thing that made it so good was like the story and the world and the atmosphere and the music and it was just like such a pleasant way to spend an evening um and I'll probably go back to it at some point and play through it again. Not for like achievements or anything like that, but just because it's nice. It was just a nice game to spend time in. And I probably got more out of that game than I've got out of like 40 hour experiences in the past. Alright, it's probably a mistake, but let's give it a try. Yes! There are so many different ways to go, I'm just kind of winging it and hoping I get it right. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to follow. Oh, I think that's just showing me what will happen if I. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Should I follow? That's clever. It's making use of my limited camera angle to make it like a leap of faith. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna risk it. I feel like that's just said to go. Lol, he died. Oh, it's because I was supposed to push this down first. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. I shouldn't be doing this as a rock because it's going to be very difficult. I feel like I've already messed up, like I probably needed that ball. Yeah. Maybe I turn back into wood this way or something. Oof, I was worried the rock would be uh, too heavy to do that, but luckily we're good. Okay, this is what I need to do. I might have already messed up, but we'll find out. I'm glad I decided to play this with a keyboard instead of a controller. I don't know if you even can play with a controller, but it's definitely a keyboard kind of a game. With like the camera rotating and stuff. Wait, where does this go? I've got to figure out where this goes. Wait, is this just how I got here? I no longer remember. Was there a twirly thing? Is that how I got here? Uh, nope, this is all new. Ah, branching paths. Okay. Okay. Alright. I know what to do. Uh, although... I don't think I need to be a rock. I don't know if I can get back from the doing that is a problem. I think I did need that rock ball, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna see what we can do. When I was a kid, playing the original balance game, or ballance, or however you want to say it, I always loved the, like, I take it for granted now that I'm playing, oh shit, wrong way, that I'm playing uh, playing this as a 25 year old, but um, I loved the theme of being so high up, like we're above the clouds, and then later on, um, you're in space, spoilers, <laughs> and you can see the earth below you, and that's how high up you are. Although I don't think gravity is affected, but like you're just really high up past the atmosphere, you can see the curvature of the earth and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think I can get back. Well, at least now we know what to do. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, no, there's no way back. Um, I always loved being like, oh god, I'm so high up. That's something you kind of miss out on as an adult in games. You're just like, oh, I guess the background is, you know, we're high up in the clouds and sky. Whereas as a kid, I was like, ah, I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall all the way down. By the way, this game, I think it's only like a year old. I think I bought it like not long after it came out. I just happened to look up Ballance on the Steam store. Uh, just see if it was there. And then when I found out that this game existed and it was only like a month old at the time, I was like, oh my god, what are the chances? Like if I'd searched for this a month ago, this wouldn't have been here. Yeah, I fucked up. This wouldn't have been here and then I would have forgot about it and just written it off as never going to get to play a game like that again. Um, so I consider myself quite lucky. Or I think maybe I'd already searched for it like a year before and it wasn't there. I do this thing sometimes where if I really want to play a game, like on the Xbox Store is backwards compat and I know it's not there. 
I'll be like, oh, but was it really not there though? And I'll just search for it again. I'm like, yeah, it wasn't there. Like, part of me is like, oh, but what if I thought I searched for it and it's been there all along? It's a shame that they're not adding any new backwards compatible games. Um, they're just trying to improve the ones that are already there. But I was listening to um, the Xbox podcast, which used to be called the Major Nelson podcast, or Major Nelson Radio, whatever the hell it was. Um, it's a good podcast, although obviously because it's made by people at Xbox, it can be a little bit. Um, all podcasts like that cross a line, like walk a line between marketing and like actually talking about things. But I think, I think they walk that line well. It never feels like I'm just being advertised to the entire time. If anything, the Rooster Teeth podcast feels more like that than this one does. <laughs> um, so, okay. So, oh, oh, wrong order. Pay attention, Christian. Sorry, everyone. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry. Um, down here. sounds good like the, the stone on like concrete and then the stone on wood good foley work shit <laughs> and I'm up oh ah uh, wrong way though where was the other one hang on oh I need to be wood anyway okay fine Oh, never change camera angles when you're mid-roll. Okay. We'll get there eventually. I've only got three lives left and this is like the start of a level. Oh no. Hopefully I'll get some extra lives as I go. Oh, that's an extra life. I thought the green ones were extra lives. not. Also, there's a temperature gauge? What the fuck? Is there going to be like lava at some point and like the paper ball is going to burst into fire? That'll be fun. Right, before I go anywhere, you oh my god, I did it again. This one. Is it up here, the next one? No. It's further that way. But did I do it from here? I'm sorry, my memory is absolutely worthless. Maybe I did it from over here. Oh, I think I did. Did I do it from over here? No, I didn't. No, I did not. This is the goal I'm trying to aim towards. Okay, fine. Sorry to everyone who already figured it out five years ago. That's the only problem with streaming puzzle games. Uh, I no longer remember how to get to the second one. Is it this way? Wait, this feels too familiar. No, this is just a loop. Yeah, because that just sends me around here, doesn't it? Yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? Oh, I remember I sent a stone ball down. Sorry, I know I figured this out like 10 years ago. I sent a stone ball down and that knocks the other one down. Right, 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 okay. Nope, I'm not going that way yet. Also, what's that extra thing in front of me? Oh, I've already been there apparently. You can tell by the way it's already been bust open. content. Okay, right. Send you on your merry way. That should be good, let's go. We don't need to watch. We know what's gonna happen. 
and then this way. Hopefully it's okay to be rock at this point. I think the original game was published by Atari or something. It had like this red kind of border around the box. What am I actually doing here? Okay, that's just points. Pointless, pointless points. I probably need that paper ball for some reason, don't I? Oh shit, I don't think I can get back up here as rock. Damn it, okay. Well, hopefully I did not need that paper ball. Okay, I did not. Good. I'm made of wood now. Make it, make it. Okay, good. I'm like a master. You know, I gotta get all of these that I can. I just realized these are tilted slightly. Extra life! Uh oh. Heavy ball on like a rotating thing to sink an ammo. God, the original game had so much of this kind of thing. It really is a love letter to the original game. I'm so happy it exists. This is like to the point of I don't need to go back and play the original anymore. That's how good this is. Like it's probably overwriting my memories of the original, not in a bad way, but just like I'm so used to this now that if I went back and saw the original, oh, get the fuck out of here, okay? Jeez. Uh, if I went back and saw the original, I'd probably be like, wait, it looks like that. It's like a less HD version of this or something. Like when you go back and you like Mario Kart Wii, yeah, it looks pretty much the same as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And when you go back and you look at video footage of Mario Kart Wii, and you're like, oh, that game looks bad. <laughs> it's easy to forget the Wii was not a HD console. Dude, this would be a great Wii game though, wouldn't it? Be a great Switch game. We should put this on Switch. Another one of these, uh, let's go all over the place kind of things. I've decided I'm going to stop trying to guess and just go. I think... Is that the type that breaks under stone? I'm going to regret this. Yes, it is! Oh, god damn it. It's fine. We're good. I can't believe they set this level in Britain. Look at all the rain. Although, to be fair, it's not raining today. It was super sunny and warm last week, and then <laughs> yesterday it hailed, and it was super freezing. And I had to go rush and get my washing in. I got hail down my butt crack. Not a pleasant experience, would not recommend. Oh my god, there's so many different branching paths, please. I only have so much brain space. For some reason I thought I would need more fucking oomph. Oh, I don't want to run out of lives and do the beginning again. That would be... That would suck. Let's see what's this way. Oh, is this just... Giving me two options. Okay, that's fine. Let's keep going with stone for a minute. Actually, I think we can get an extra life if we go across that bridge. So let's be paper. Because, let's face it, at this point I need an extra life. Why is my durability going down? It's because it's raining, it's fuck. Okay, good thing I noticed that though. <laughs> so you do not want to be paper for very long in this game. Good to know, in this level even. I bet user-made levels use that all the time. Like, you can only be paper and it's raining and like there's like a time limit because of it that would be cute I've spent 15 and a half minutes in this level good god what have I been doing alright I need to uh, do this 
and this time don't fuck it up. I see why I thought I needed more momentum. I didn't see the little extra rung there to get me up. Although even then, ugh, oh god, it's so hard to judge. There we go. That was close. I think some of the later levels in the original game got rid of paths like this and just made them all like super thin. So that was fun. And there were levels where it was like just one metal railing the entire thing. You just had to bow. You had to balance like the name of the game. Fuck. Ooh, that was close. Um. I, first of all, first of all, first of all, I want to, I want to make at least one clip per stream so that I can be like, hey, look what you're missing if you don't watch my streams, but I'm not at the stream manager thing, so I can't just do it quickly, so I've, uh, that stream marker, there we go, so I've not, I've not done this very well is what I'm saying, I've not made it very like, oh, Christian's just doing a thing and he's back, I didn't make it very subtle. Um, yeah, I'm going to be paper, that's what I'm doing. And I'm going to burst this open so that I don't have to be paper for long. But I can't burst it open because then I'll fucking go off the edge. <laughs> oh, I didn't burst it open, I just opened it. Okay, well fine, fuck you too. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Always good to have at least one highlight per stream. And if I don't put a stream marker there, I'm not going to remember to do it. Wait, where was the paper? Oh, it was up here, wasn't it? It was up here, wasn't it? By the way, can we just appreciate that the name of the game is in the bottom right corner of the screen the entire time? I mean, I guess it works. If anyone takes a clip of a game and shares it, and someone's like, whoa, is that balance? It's like, no, it's Bullex. And we're like, wait, they made another one? You know? I know that's how I'd react. Well, this is anxiety-inducing. I'm getting soggy. Oh, but now I can do this. Yay, extra life. Rain is pain. Okay, up we go. Gain health. Turn back to stone. We good. Well, we shouldn't the rain erode the stone. Just asking for a friend. I guess it's so slow. If you leave the game on for a hundred years, maybe. Yay, next level. Get a quick swig of my drink. I wonder if I'm starting as rock because that's what I was last level, or just because that's what it's set as. Whoa, that's new. That was never in the original. I just keep finding myself, like, wanting to express how happy I am that this game exists. But I'm like, I've already done that. Get it together, Christian. It's so good, though. Oh, no, is it icy as well? I take it back. I'm not glad this game exists anymore. It's not actually icy, but it's snowing, and I feel like they're going to use that to make it icy later. Oh, that looks interesting. I do oh, I took the boring route. Ah, oh, that's fine, because I need to go in there. But, I mean, I can just take a shortcut. Oh, shit! Don't take shortcuts. Plunk. Let's-a go. Can't believe Mario's fucking dead. I got distracted by my own live stream. Something changed on the screen and it caught my attention. I almost fell off because of it. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. I don't like this. Okay. I hope you're enjoying all the noises. Points. 
that will make my parents proud of me. <laughs> Here lies Christian. Fuck! <laughs> Here lies Christian. He, uh, he accrued many points in bollocks. How do you even pronounce this? Is it bollocks? Is it ballocks? Ba ballet? Is it meant to be like a play on ballet? Because it's like a subtle dance you do. What are these? Are they like metal balls? Oh, and this is an ice ball. Fuck me. <laughs> I knew this was coming. Look how well it controls! Their channel lull means for a full sense of security. Oh, see? No barriers on that one. Oh shit! Yep, yeah, see? <laughs> they fucking got me. Oh, I only have two lives left. Oh no! Whee! Uh oh, and now I'm doing this as ice. Okay, that's fine. Calm down, Christian. I keep throwing to myself by name in this, uh, this stream. Sometimes I'm like, should I call myself Critigree like that? But I feel like that would just be weird. By the way, the username Critigree. I like it. I like it because it's unique. The amount of people <laughs> who misread it as Critigirl or Kirigiri from uh, Danganronpa, which um, I didn't understand until recently, and I'm I'm cool with that. She's cool, um, but like <laughs> it doesn't bother me. I'm not like oh god, they're getting my gender wrong or anything. Um, but <laughs> I'm just like I guess I brought this on myself. Also, fuck. Because I guess. It's not the kind of thing that you see a lot. Like you don't see this. It, like obviously, because it's a unique name, and it's not rooted in like actual language, um, or like it doesn't have. I mean, it has an etymology, but it doesn't have like a language-based etymology. You know, it's just a, a few words smashed together. It's basically what it is. Um, You'll never guess what the first word is, or the first name. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't change it if I had the chance. I still like being critically, but I totally get why people misread it all the time. But yeah, maybe I should refer to myself as critically. Oh fuck, I forgot. I forgot. Now I'm gonna die again. Maybe I can go back. Can I go back? Okay, good. Let's go! Okay, good. Whoa! That's new. I thought, <laughs> I thought they were boxes. Guess that's the point. Okay. Oh, shit! Well, this is rude. Right before the checkpoint as well. And this one had a grin on their face when they were putting those in. I haven't got like a single Steam achievement from this game yet. I don't like how that ball's not rotating. <laughs> that upsets me. I get why, it's because it's made of ice, but I don't know. It looks wrong somehow. You get out of here, you damn barrel. And then my version of the ball rotates way too much. Oh. oh, you bastards. Is this like icy wood as well? Shit! Alright, I'm 
gonna go too fast, we all know how that ends. Oh, that's cheeky! Oh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna risk it. No thanks. I'm not a completionist in this livestream series. <laughs> Ow. Pain. Yay, we did it. We finished World 1. With lots of anxiety to spare. <laughs> I think that was World 1. I didn't realise we were on level 6 instead of level 5. Starting now, that is. Aw, oh, look, it's all sunny. Where does this one go? Oh god, it's a maze. Let me in. Let me in. Let me. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth the meme. Oh, I only start with three lives? Okay. Bit rude. Fucking hell. What am I doing with my life? Um, uh, oh. I didn't realise it was four o'clock already, actually. I might have to end this. I do have work later. I'm really enjoying this game, man. <laughs> Just gonna put that out there. But no, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna end it here. Okay. Sorry, it's only a short stream. Kind of like a test kind of like a concept of things to come. Um, I was supposed to come up with a name for this series in the in the live stream, but I haven't. So I'm going to come up with a name for it after I hit end. I mean, what should I call it? Maybe I can do it right now. What, what should I call it? It is a series about going through my backlog of games. Uh... No, I don't know. I'm going to have to think of this off camera because it's not fun. It's not fun viewing experience for me to just be sat here going, uh, I think you have a name. So, the VOD, whatever it's called in the VOD, you already know if you're watching the VOD. You already know what it's called. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. I don't know how regular these streams are going to be. Um, they might even just be as short as this one. Um, the only reason it's so short, though, today is because I've got work soon. Um, but, you know, I have a week off coming up, so that's cool. I had a lot of fun doing this, actually. A lot of fun. I think I tend to stream games which are games I'm already playing, like MMOs, and so I'm streaming like one activity in a much larger game, and because of that it doesn't feel as fulfilling. Um, like I stream Dungeoneering in RuneScape, I'm like, yep, here's some Dungeoneering, okay, got a couple of levels out of it, thanks for watching, you know, but this is like, we, we played a game, we saw what a game was like, we had an experience, and we, we enjoyed it, so... Um, the next one of these is probably going to be Ball X, but I'm never going to make promises. Um, but I highly recommend this game, it's like two quid, honestly, pick it up, it's a lot of fun. And um, you can make your own levels, and you can play other user-created levels and stuff like that. And this is just the tip of the iceberg of a game that we've played so far, we're about a quarter of the way through the uh, levels that are provided by the developers. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next stream, I hope. I hope I will.